six is a rate limiting cofactor. So we want to make sure good B6 pyridoxal 5 phosphate is there, very important. If we're under a lot of adrenal stress, B5, pedophenic acid, very important. I mentioned folate or B9, same thing. And then your B12, B7 is also like your biotin. And then, of course, a good multi is going to fill in the gap. We want to have things like calcium, magnesium, vitamin C, really important cofactors to make sure our brain's working well. And then, of course, we could have toxins. Things like heavy metals or mold toxins can definitely impact our brain and the way our immune system works in the brain. So if our immune response is overly stimulated, like microglial cells, they're overactive, right? Because we have mold toxins or heavy metals that can overly stimulate the immune response in the brain and that can create brain fog too. And so we want to be on top of that. And last but not least, you know, as we age, we add more plaque in the brain if we're insulin resistant. So the insulin sensitizing, the insulin degrading enzyme is very important for cleaning up plaque in the brain. You only have so much of this enzyme. And so if we waste this enzyme cleaning up insulin, because it does degrade insulin. So if we waste it degrading insulin, guess what? We have less of it to clean up plaque. So the goal is with blood sugar, we want the least amount of insulin possible. So, okay, that enzyme cleans up the insulin, but has some capacity to still go after cleaning up the plaque in the brain. And so this is very important with an aging brain. We want to make sure we are insulin sensitive. How do we test that? Blood sugar meter, 